Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Rugrats Capers Crazy. Not confused with Capers Crazy, I know it's not it's Capers Castle or whatever it is, but uh, our Capers Crazy. Our Crazy Capers, it's Crazy Capers, there we go, got it. So today we're going to be doing the the Sweet Sweet Mountain as Kimmy. I did some research and it turns out I cannot actually change characters until she dies. So, rip. Whoa, an entire place made out of candy? I'll be eating until I'm, I'm grown up. But I, I still need a, my bag of worms for dessert. And uh, I literally didn't read the second page there, but I can see we're in a candy land now. I'm actually get cakes to throw. So, oh, it's like the, um, I see. So the weapons are depend. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, that's 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 good. That's good. I'm going to be collecting cookies here, which I'm not going to lie. I love some cookies, you know. I haven't actually had cookies in a while. But yeah, I do I do admit cookies are sweet. Uh, but remember, there is some bombless pits here. Um... No idea what this is about. Can I time my jumps maybe? Nope. Uh, th there is Balmut's Pits here from what I remember. I could be wrong, but I could also be very much right. Um, I don't know wh where I'm going by the way. Also, the, the jumping bottles always freaked me out as a kid. No idea why. You know, it's one of those things like... It's the fear, fear of the un unknown. Okay. But what the hell? What the hell? Let me get up. I'm telling you, these... Um, Whatever they are, the squishy things are useless. Look, I'm okay. If I hold it, yeah, okay. I hold the jump button to, to get it to work. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay, jump. Okay. Oh, balls! I'm taking a lot of hits. Yeah, I don't want to die. I do not want to die. Um, since I don't know what happens when you die. If I if I literally just have to replay the entire game again, I'm going to use the codes because there is a lot of codes in this game. Um, I was actually looking for a code so I could change characters, so I could play as like Chucky or something. Couldn't find one. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. I could not find one. Ah, oh, balls, man. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, it takes a bit more slow. Okay, it's fine. Okay, just run. Get across. Okay, slow down. Jump again. Yep. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, across and across. There we go. We're up top now. This seems like some kind of secret area, if you think about it. Doesn't it? It does seem very secret. Ooh. Oh, my God. That was close. How high are we going here? Jesus Christ. We are going super duper high. Okay, fine by me. If it wants to bring me as high as that it wants me to be, I'm fine with that. I'm missing a lot of cookies, but I feel like with the whole um, death at the bottom, it's really not worth it. Also, you can just totally see, cakes are useless against cakes. Okay. This seems very, very, like, like sketchy if you think about it, like, where we are. Ooh. Okay, so where is this going to take us? Please take it to a scary. Ooh. Am ammo. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Um... That was rad. That was extremely rad. Okay. Oh, Dill. So we found a friend. Okay. The, the, the cakes do nothing. Like, you can plainly see that. They do bugger all. So, oh my god. This level is very platform heavy. Like, it's literally a guessing game with a GBA screen sometimes. Like, you don't know what's coming up. Look, look, luckily, I'm playing this, like, on a PC. So it's not too bad. But still, it's a big guessing game. Ooh, level complete. Stage two. Ooh, it's Tommy right there. Okay, oh, what the hell is that? Is that a demon bear? I think so. So we know where Tommy is. I'm gonna try to save him whilst we are in the area, which is just right over here. Okay, boom. I've seen how many cookies there is. Is this 250? Nah, I'm, I'm wasting my time with that, like. Okay, chocolate bar, jump! Okay, I really like it when there's not bombless pits as well. Also, I kind of wish they were, um... Okay, come on. Take, take the... Oh, we can, we can go through. I, I'm kind of glad there's not bombless pits, because bombless pits suck. Like, they really do. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I like the idea of the two-dimensional objects here, which you can go through. I really like that. It's like, oh god, we've only got one hit left. Let's not die. Let's not die. Because if I die, I'm gonna be so angry. Ooh, a diaper. So I wonder how many does this give us? Ten. Okay. So I'm guessing there's gonna be secret areas in this game where you can get ten or more diapers. Normally, you will lose most of the diapers in the boss fight. I just saw in the last episode, I just lost a ridiculous amount of um, d diapers. It was ridiculous. Okay, oh god, I'm being chased. I am being chased by a ball. Okay, that, those balls are bloody fast. Okay, it's fine. Oh, more diapers. I'm liking the amount of diapers that that's actually giving us here. It's really nice. Because I, I literally have none left. Okay, I have nothing left. Okay. I still don't understand why we need to have pie members, by the way. It makes zero sense. But, you know, we've got pie members. <laughs> no idea why. Okay. Oh, a secret area. Okay, quite a few cookies here. Is that it? 
I'm, I'm hoping there's some diapers. More cookies and uh, yes! 30 diapers, that's exactly what we wanted. So it looks like diapers are droppable, which is good. D don't know how often or what have you, but they are droppable. So if you want to get diapers, go right ahead. But yeah, I just like how there's like invisible walls and stuff. I feel like this game is very well designed, you know? It is very, it's very like, for a Game Boy game, it's very convoluted and it's very like in depth, you know? And I got my respect for that because, like, it's rare that you meet a good GBA platformer where there's actually this much stuff going on. Like, I'm not gonna mention Spyro Fusion because Spyro Fusion and Crash Fusion were just, ugh, you know, bad games in general. But um, I still enjoy playing them. And in, in comparison, if if they, them games was designed like this, the whole platforming, it would have been a fantastic game. It would have been. I'm not gonna deny that. It would have been a great experience for everyone who played it. And that is crazy. How like, depending on how the game. Uh, oh, what the hell is it a candy house? Can we go in? Oh, we can. Oh, and this is the boss fight. Okay, and Angelica looks a bit like a genie. Okay, can we throw stuff out of it again? Okay, if you remember, okay, okay, just keep throwing stuff, keep throwing stuff. Yeah, be the gingerbread men. They, they want cake. They want cake. I don't know what we're trying to do. Do we, do we have to kill her gingerbread men, maybe? I feel like we do, yeah. I feel like a gingerbread men are what we need to kill by just overfeeding them. And now we can kill her, I presume. Come on, come on, keep throwing cakes, come on, eat the cakes, eat the cake. oh, she's spawning more, she's spawning more. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Okay, can we go higher? How, how do we get up there? Like, are we just on this one, two, are we just on this 2D plane? I feel like we are, okay, that's gonna get rid of two of them. Let's get rid of another one. What happens if you run out of cakes, though, during the boss fight? Like, just, just really curious, like, what happens there? Okay, I'm trying to kill Angelica here. Come on, Angelica, eat my cakes, man. Eat the cakes. Why are you not interested in the cakes? Eat the goddamn cakes, man. Eat the cakes. Uh, see, the, the, the gingerbread man like it, so why don't you? Why don't you like the cakes? What the F? Come on. It's like Hansel and Grail, if you think about it. It is, it is a lot like Hansel and Grail. Um, which is kind of cool. There is like all these childhood stories here. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Is it time-based, maybe? Maybe we just have to survive a certain amount of time, or... Or do we have to just throw cake in her face? Like, it doesn't work when it just goes straight through her. Like, it's annoying. Huh. I can't get away from anyone. Ugh. Hard boss fight this. Like, I feel like these boss fights are very, like, knowledge oriented. They really are. Like, it does freeze her. Can, can we be punch it? Oh, we can rob her? Oh, she looks like, ah, we gotta get rid of a gingerbread that bread, bread bread, then grab her. I see now, I get it. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's easy enough. Okay, that's, that's one here. Come on. I kind of wish there was a bit more of a, a, a description. Okay. Okay. She, she spawned those really fast, by the way. Really fast. Ridiculously fast, if you ask me. Okay, let's just throw some more. Just keep falling back and fall, throw some more. Jump, jump. Throw more. Yes. G give me your money, Angelica. Okay, more cookies. Well, hey. So, I don't know if it's meant, meant to be how we beat her. Like, but we're getting cookies for it, so... I, I think we're doing some kind of damage to her. Like, it looks like we are. Okay. Back away. Oh, for God's sake, Angelica. I kind of wish there was more information on these boss fights because like it makes zero sense on what I'm doing. Um, I, I feel like this is the right way to do it. Like, try, try to mug her. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. It wasn't a bad level, but it was just more of. I wish it was explained more at the end. But there we go. We collected. We got 19 diapers now, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be going in to do another level today. Ooh, we got some bean. Ah, and right, so showing just what we got. So, so we're gonna be doing the ice castle next. But I want to save it really quickly. So just give me a second with that. So yeah, let's go into the Ice Kingdom. Snow problems. Wow, this place is colder than a, a diapy full of ice cream. Trust me, I know. Queen Angelica's hidden Dill's binky somewhere in this place where she lives in a big house made of, made of ice. I kind of wish there was a bit more commas there. I know there was like one, but I kind of wish there was a bit more. Go a blankie and put on an extra diapy, babies. We're going into the Iceland to, to, to get Dill's binky and it's, don't, it's, it's, it's time to do or cry. I love the puns. I'm going to be able to find uh, either um, Tommy or Phil. Is that Tommy Red there? Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like some of the hidden characters here, not hidden at all. Um, so, I feel like with the whole... Um, oh, Ice Lollies. Now we're talking, boys. Now we're talking. I feel like with the whole like attack weapon, you know, like fish in this level. Oh. As you can see, there is Insta Death Well, Insta Diaper Loss. And uh, I feel like there's no point using your consumables like um, 
until you get to the boss, if I'm honest. Like, there's no real reason to, because, like, you just can't do anything. Oh, God. Okay, snow. Okay, uh, it was a polar bear who did it. God damn you, polar bears. I do remember this level quite a bit. And I always get this level confused with Sonic Advance 2 as well, another game I actually own for the um, GBA. I feel like those games, there's a nice level in both of those games, and I don't actually remember much about them. Like, you know, I, I really just, I don't. And, but both of them are really solid games, don't get me wrong, I love the Sonic Advance series. And, uh, yeah, I just, I always get those two levels confused, because they're so much alike. This level and that level is just, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. They are just so much alike. Also, I'm loving the actual um, slip mechanics here. I feel like it, it feels really nice. Like, oh god. The ice mechanics doesn't seem bad. Also, the respawn points, pretty good. I'm, oh, balls. Okay, oh god, let's wait for it to respawn. Come on, yep. I feel like the respawn points in this area, not too bad, you know, not too bad at all. Okay, okay. Oh, walrus. Okay, it's fine, let's continue on. And boom, zippity doo da, zippity day. Let's pop into the ice cube, stage two. So I feel like these levels aren't too short if you know where you're going. Like in the first one, the clock, the clockwork, I, I just kept falling. Yeah, I just suck at jumping. Ooh, Yeti. Everyone knows Yeti's like fish. Okay. It's normally like for the big enemies as well, you should definitely use um, your consumables for. But like, I'm going to try to save them as much as possible for Angelica. Oh god, run, run, run. Okay, I'm getting chased by snowballs. How could I dodge that? Like, that was just utter BS. Like, how I would dodge that. Okay. Oh, but how many snowballs, man? How many snowballs? Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. That really did. Okay. It is shaking quite a bit. I'm, I'm not even going to jump for that ice, ice popsicles because I probably, I probably will fall. But there is something up there, which I want to get up and explore. Can, can we get up there? No, I feel like so, some of the jumps is just so close, but you just can't get to them. Okay, time for another ride on the ice cube train. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's jump up top. Okay, we've got 20 more fish, which is great. I don't know if this is the way we're meant to go, but I didn't want to risk staying on that in case we did take some more hits. Because you do lose diapers pretty goddamn fast in this game. I'm just hoping, like, that there's a way to, uh, to restore diapers and stuff. Because that, that would be sweet if there is. Um, hopefully. Okay. Can we get up there? No. Dill, I'm sorry. You're going to be left in the ice land forever. Not Dill. Phil, you're going to be left in the ice land forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not sorry. He's probably a bit, a bit busy in worms or even a yeti, yeti's fur or something. Knowing Phil, like he um, he loves that weird stuff, doesn't he? I've actually n never eaten a worm in my life. I don't know if you guys have. I know it's, it's really stupid, but like, I never like I, I was regressed a lot as a kid, and I never really understood the the reason why Phil ate him. I never did, and I still don't. It's kind of a bit, yeah, like. If he, if he wants to eat them, if he can, don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, there's much better things to eat, like chocolate or apples, you know. Ooh, it's actually going. Is this going to be the boss fight? Really run the... Is this the boss fight already? I can't tell. No, it doesn't... Oh, this is like a, a free layer level then, is it? Oh, okay. It, does, it is a boss fight then. Ice Queen, come on. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Okay, this is another boss fight. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, dodge the wind. Oh my god, how are we meant to do this? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go back down. Balls too. Let's feed this yay because this yay seems alright. Enjoy yay, enjoy, enjoy. Okay, there's more than one yeti here. Okay, nice to know. Okay, okay, we're nearly out of diapers here, so 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 we're gonna see if we can switch characters or not. If we can, that'll be fine. If not, I'm gonna restart because uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's climb up and see Angelica now that her henchmen are dealt with appropriately. Okay, come on, let's get in the cloud. And let's actually have a look up here. One thing I really don't like is how much... I'm right behind you, Angelica, come on. Okay, she, she, she turns around really fast. Okay, come on, I'm trying I'm trying to feed your fish. Come on, eat the fish. Okay, game over, what happens now? Can we switch characters? Oh my god, you actually just die. You made me this game as one character. That is difficult. So guys, I'm back, and now I'm trying to different strategy. I'm trying to like stay as far as, far as where, where I can from her. And just lob stuff over. Uh, I'm very annoyed that you can't switch characters, so, so, so you literally get 25 diapers to, to beat the entire game. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to beat the game, but it's very, um, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, just keep loving fish. It's got to be doing something to her, it's got to be. It has to be. By the way, I saved just before the boss fight, so we will have multiple retries at this boss fight. Just, it's just something to be aware of. 
Okay, just keep lobbing stuff. Come on. We're almost out of fish, which is not ideal. Okay. Okay, we're out of fish. That sucks. So now what do we do? I, I have no idea what we do. We also found out if you press up, you can actually do some kind of jumps. Like, you can do a double jump with the characters. That's pretty unique. I like that, you know, so, so that actually is a benefit of finding people. Like, yeah, it's, it's really it's really cool. Um, but we're out of weapon. I don't know what I need to do now. Are we totally screwed? We might be totally screwed. Uh, do, do you have to bop on her? Bop? 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 Like... I don't understand what I'm trying- I honestly don't understand this boss, like... Oh, we did some kind of damage, we just jumped on our head. And no idea what we're doing, just jumping all the time. Um, it seems it seemed to have done something. <laughs> it did a lot- it, we got a lot of lollipops there, so I think I found a strategy. Just keep jumping on her. Okay, just keep jumping. Everyone knows Angelica's weakness is just jumping on her, okay. I honestly, like... There is one boss I do remember how it would be, by the way. It's just, this boss is just so ludicrous and stuff, it's just annoying as hell. Okay. Okay, it's fine, just keep jumping, just keep jumping, just keep jumping. I believe in you, okay. Like, I don't understand how that does damage to her, of all things. Like, it makes zero sense to me why that does damage to her, but... Okay. It literally just keeps coming, oh. I don't know, there's actually a little break here, okay, let's do some more jumping. Okay, I feel like jumping and just run away. I think that this is how you meant to do it because she can't actually reach over over here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Ah, run, 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 run. Okay, I feel like we've got this in the in the bag now. We've got this in the bag. I might do a quick restart again just to make sure that we actually do have enough um like oh balls. I just took a lot of hits then. A lot of diapers because we haven't got that many life. I'm gonna see if we can beat her this way though, in case this is the way you need to be here. Because if it is, it's fantastic, fantastic. Oh my god, she takes a lot of hits. Jesus. So I've actually been trying this out a little bit more, and I feel like it's mainly just like run into her and then dodge her attacks, and that's how you do damage to her. I think this is very weird. <laughs> like, like look at that. I, I did damage to her, and it makes zero sense how I did. Um, I, I think Kimi might have just slapped her, just like <laughs> slap her. <laughs> I know, Kimi the brutal, um, the brutal kid that she just walks into slaps and uh, sl I was at Antonio then Angelica around the face. Oh, balls. Okay, the falling is kind of annoying, but you know, if we can beat level, I'm gonna be, oh, balls, don't, don't get killed by the Yetis, jump, jump. Okay, I feel like the Yetis don't actually come under the, under here. We've only got four diapers left, so, so we might have to actually start to use codes, um, which is not ideal. Oh, oh, we win. I don't know what happened there, but we won. Boom, we, we've got four diapers. Four diapers to um to beat the game. Uh, ugh, this is not good, this is not good in the slightest. There's that code you wanna play. And uh, we've only got two more levels to do, which is the Desert World, which I do remember pretty well. I'm pretty sure that's on Magic Carpets. And the Beanstalk level, which I do remember. That's a very platform-heavy level. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can give myself some diapers off-screen. But if this video, please give a like. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to give myself some diapers off-screen because I've got zero. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.